Hello, I'm Dr. Otis Brawley. I'm a medical oncologist and epidemiologist at Johns Hopkins University. I'm also a retired U.S. Public Health Service Corps captain. I'd like to talk to you today about the human papillomavirus, or HPV. HPV is the most common sexually transmitted disease in the United States. We can protect against HPV infection through vaccination. Unvaccinated people are at higher risk for developing cancers of the throat, cancers of the cervix, and cancers of the genital areas. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, about 20 million Americans currently are infected with HPV. An additional 6 million will get infected. About 80% of Americans over the age of 40 have been infected at one time. There are typically no signs or symptoms of an individual having an HPV infection, even if they have it for 10 or 15 years. Our best way of controlling HPV and preventing HPV is through vaccination. For the last 20 years, we've had a vaccine that's very effective in controlling HPV and is also very safe. We recommend that children get the HPV vaccine starting at age 9 to age 12. For those children, they only need to get two shots about six months apart. For people who get vaccinated after the age of 15, they need to get three shots. On day one, about a month to two months later, and then six months after day one. It's recommended that anyone who is under the age of 25, who's not gotten vaccinated, get vaccinated. People age 25 to 45 need to talk to their doctor and consider getting vaccinated. I also want to mention HPV screening. While there's no screening for men, women should be screened for cervical cancer by pap smear starting at the age of 25 or three years after sexual activity begins. And then at age 30, they can choose to get the pap smear or other testing for HPV infection of the cervix. The combination of HPV vaccine and cervical cancer screening has been shown to save lives in both men and women. Cannot overstress that men can benefit from HPV vaccine as well. Again, the takeaway points are that HPV or human papillomavirus is the most common sexually transmitted disease. Certain types of HPV can cause cancers of the throat, cancers of the cervix, and cancers of the genitalia. And we can protect against HPV infection through vaccination, and we can protect against a major cause of HPV cancer death, that is cervical cancer, through cervical cancer screening. I want to thank you. I want to encourage you to seriously consider getting the HPV vaccine if you haven't already. It can save your life.